welcome to this week's episode. I just want to take some time out to thank all the subscribers and thank you guys for watching. And if you're watching this for the first time, my name is Sofian. Um, as you can see, I'm currently no, not in Dubai. At the moment, I'm in Sydney, Australia. I'm back home for, the, for a while uh, due to the current situation that's going on in the world. Uh, so I just want to let you guys know in the upcoming videos, they're all recorded in, in the months of January and February and all before the crisis went um, into a really crazy mode. So, so things were quite okay in the UAE and people were quite calm and collected um, until what happened was last weekend, I went over to Hata, which is close to, which is a small town and it's close to the border of Oman. Uh, I was there on the weekend and then on Saturday I had I, I received the announcement that UAE was going to close its border from the Tuesday 17 of March and then Oman was closing its border which is only five kilometers away from where I am uh, in a matter of, of hours and that got me thinking if you know what should I do because I'm not a resident of Dubai and my visa was going to expire and then came the announcement of from the Australian government that any visitors coming down to Australia we have to go into a 14 day self isolation or self quarantine um, you know, period. People coming to Australia will be required will be required I stress to self isolate for 14 days. That got me thinking if visitors have to go into a self isolation period it just means that there could be a possible lockdown. So I, that's when I decided that I have to make that decision and it was a tough decision. I didn't take it lightly and I had to go back to Australia. So I flew back to Australia as soon as I can and here I am uh, in my self-isolation, self-quarantine uh, period of 14 days. And I just want to uh, thank everybody who has reached out to me and uh, were concerned if, if I was going to be okay and whether I will have enough food supplies so I'm very thankful for all you friends out there who reach out for me and, and, and people who have asked me. Uh, you know, so I hope you guys enjoyed this week's video and everyone stay safe and stay strong and stay calm. We will get through this. I'll see you guys soon. Ciao, ciao. Hey everyone, my name is Sofian. If you're watching this for the first time and welcome to this week's episode. In my previous vlog, I went over to Old Dubai and explored the gold soup, the herb soup, the utensil soup and the spice soup. So it was an interesting um, excursion to the part of Dubai and as I mentioned I bought some ingredients, um, some spice blends and some uh, loose tea blends and one of the things I was very particularly intrigued was the Arabic 7 spice. I personally, I've never heard of it. It was my first time being exposed to that spice. Um, and But somehow it reminded me very much of the Chinese spice spice powder that I'm used to. The Chinese spice spice powder is quite interesting where it's simply made out of five different spices. First, star anise. Second, cloves. Third, Chinese cinnamon. Fourth, Sichuan peppercorns. And the fifth, fennel seeds. So that's the main gist of Chinese spice spice powder. I went to the shop and talked to the owner and the moment I saw the word 7 spice, it got me intrigued because it reminded me very much of the Chinese spice spice powder. And, and I did some research online, I spoke also to the owner about the spices and what he would recommend. And he's, he recommended that this 7 spice is quite is pretty easy to cook with dishes, you can make with sauces, you can cook with chicken, we can cook with uh, lamb, mutton and so on. So for those of you who may not be aware of the Arabic 7 spices just like me, the, uh, the 7 spices are made out of ground pepper, paprika, cumin, coriander seeds, nutmeg, cinnamon and cardamom. And sometimes people use cloves uh, in the spice itself. You can easily find these spices in supermarkets and in stores around the Dubai and the UAE. However, I was told that the best spices are actually from Bahrain. So, well, let's see. I was told that this came from Bahrain. 
So for today's recipe, I decided to make a lamb chop with the Arabic 7 spice. So what I did earlier was I marinated the lamb chops with the 7 spice powder and a bit of yogurt and some salt to taste. After marinating the spices into the lamb, I simply put it in the fridge and let it set for a few hours. Uh, but personally, I did about 5 hours just to make sure that the, the, all the flavours soak in. The best, is, if you can, is marinate overnight. So I'm going to be cooking this uh, on the pan and we'll serve this with salad. So let's get started. episode of my take of the lamb chop with the Arabic 7 spice uh, served with salad and if you guys like this week's video I would really appreciate it if you click the like button uh, and also the subscribe button and the bell for further notification because it's great for me to know who's watched it who's liked it and um, I like to know who you are too at the same time so that's it from me from now saying goodbye from Dubai and I'll see you in the next episode ciao ciao Thank you.